Hey, hey, welcome to my first video. And we're looking at my watermelon because you know, I can't start a channel called Cage the Watermelon without looking at a watermelon plant, right? Well, I guess you could, but that's how I'm starting it. But anyway, I'm gonna post a bunch of random stuff about my garden, about random things I can do. And in back of the watermelon plant, which has no watermelons on it, unfortunately, it's just a baby still. But the tomatilla, it's got lots of fruit on it. There's actually a lemon tree growing here, and I planted the lemon tree and I didn't mean for the tomatillas to just grow. They actually just grew on their own from some seed from somewhere. But I'm not surprised because I've had them grow random here before. But see, they come out. You know when they're ripe when they pop out of their little hoods like this. It's perfectly. And that's what um, they usually make green salsa out of these. So pretty good. Then I got the cucumbers coming out. Little baby cucumber right there. More. It's actually this little box here, and there are two kinds of cucumbers in here. There's a lemon cucumber and a regular, like, I guess they call them pickling cucumbers. Like this. You can actually pick, you can actually pick them right now, like this size, and, and pickle them at this size if you want them little. But the lemon cucumbers are pretty cool. Let me pick one for you. They're round like this and they're spiky and um, they're called lemon cucumbers but I think the reason they're called lemon cucumbers is because of the fact that when they get a little bigger they turn yellow like a lemon because they have no other than that they just taste exactly like a cucumber blindfolded I wouldn't be able to tell the difference look at the bee a little tiny bee right there on my first video my first guest host. <laughs> Alright, well I'm going to pause the video because I want to show you something else. Alright, now we're back over here in the corn. I grew all this corn that the dogs tore it up so it didn't come out that great. And this is a cucumelon. I don't have any cucumelons to show you because even though I've been growing this thing for like a month, it hasn't made any cucumelons. I got it at Home Depot and I got two of them. There's one growing about five feet away from here and I figure if it needed two to tango it would be making fruit but that's one thing about the tomatillas is you have to have two of them to make fruit and obviously I got two of them because it's making fruit I didn't plant them it's random but uh, over here over her we got the ghost peppers these things the dang snails were eating these things for the longest time but they kept growing and they're doing good now and the snails are gone and they're about to make ghost peppers so I can't wait because that will make some fire salsa. I make my homemade salsa too. I'll post a video when I do that. Um, squash, yellow crookneck, I think is the best squash there is to grow around here and this is about when I pick it. Like this one right here, I'll probably pick tonight and eat for dinner. This one on the other hand over here, oh shoot. That's what happens when you wait for them to get too big and you don't pick them. Then they look like pumpkins almost and they don't taste good. So yeah, I recommend picking squash when it's like that big. It tastes a lot better. Delilah. Alrighty, well. Thanks for watching my first video. Like and subscribe. There's Delilah, my pup. She's got one blue eye and one brown eye, and she's pregnant. So I'll probably be posting puppy videos too when she pops, which should be any day now. So, all right. Like and subscribe and wait for more videos because they will be coming.